Hello, I'm Danny Fingeroth, Chair of Will Eisner Week, an annual worldwide celebration of comics and sequential art, graphic novel literacy, free speech, and the life and legacy of the great visual storyteller, Will Eisner. Will Eisner was a pioneer in and advocate for comics and graphic novels, what he called sequential art. In his honor, Will Eisner Week takes place the first week in March every year. Celebrations are held in schools, libraries, museums, bookstores, comic book shops, and other venues. This year, since live events may not be practical in many places, we at Will Eisner Week headquarters are providing recorded events to give venues virtual programming options. Will Eisner was born March 6, 1917, and started creating comics before he was 20. In the 1940s, the golden age of comics, he helped invent the comic book's vocabulary, most famously with his creation of the spirit. Eisner brought a sophisticated sensibility to the scripts and art of his stories, broadening the visual language of comics. In the 50s and 60s, while working for corporations and government agencies, Eisner proved that the comics format worked well for training and for education. And in the 1970s, with his graphic novel, A Contract with God, Eisner was one of the first to show that comics could deal with sophisticated subjects and themes, that they could be literature. With A Contract for God, as well as his dozens of subsequent graphic novels, Eisner inspired others in the field to produce landmark works, including Maus, Fondholm, and many others. Will Eisner passed away in 2005 before graphic novels were commonly found on library shelves and sequential art on museum walls. In 2009, in his honor, Will Eisner Week was launched to celebrate not just Eisner's body of work, but also the things he so passionately believed in. First, to inform people about the power of comics to educate, enlighten, and entertain. Second, to foster graphic novel literacy, that is, demonstrate that comics can portray important topics and themes as powerfully as the best fiction and nonfiction in any medium, and third, to support free speech, which he strongly believed in. But Will Eisner Week can't exist without you, whether as someone who presents an event spreading the word about comics and graphic novels, or as someone who's part of the audience for such an event, your presence is what transforms Will Eisner Week from an idea into reality. If you're new to Will Eisner Week, you'll want to first download and read the Will Eisner Week playbook from willeisner.com. It will give you more background on Eisner and what Will Eisner Week is all about. The challenge for 2021, of course, is to conduct meaningful Will Eisner Week events in the midst of a worldwide pandemic. In that light, also on willeisner.com, we're providing the playbook addendum for suggestions about how to hold virtual Will Eisner Week events. And there are additional resources there that can be used as part of a venue's Will Eisner Week presentation. This should give you enough information to hold your own Will Eisner Week event or to contact a local library, school, or comic book shop and work with them to hold an event. I think it'll be worth the effort. We hope you enjoy participating in Will Eisner Week. And if you have any questions that aren't answered at the website or in the playbook, feel free to contact me at danny at willeisner.com. Thank you for your time and interest, and please stay well.